Let's start off with Joe Button. Joe Button says that Lotto. Let me move this around. Joe Button said that Lotto is a top three rapper. Now I'm confused if he's this is clip culture. I'm only watching the clip, so don't judge me. But Lotto being a top three rapper is whether it's all time or right now, I'm gonna take it as right now until further context. But this video was actually sent to me, so why not view it? Let's see. Where you rank her right now, currently? Rap oh, currently, just rapping. Okay. The the women. Uh top three. Yes. I'm with you. She's number three for me. Pause. Let me think. Is Lotto top three? Right now. Oh, shit. Lotto really might be top three. Joe might not be cabin. La uh, uh, uh. rappers. Okay, we got Nikki, of course. Um, would I say Nikki's number one right now? No, I would not. <laughs> I would definitely put Sexy Red right now for top three. Not lyrics, but I'm talking about overall rappers right now. I would definitely put Sexy Red right there. Um, her attraction is just too crazy. What we put Meg? In the top three right now, <sighs> she just came out with an album that I told y'all was coming, by the way. Uh, she just came out with an album. She's on tour. She's doing an arena tour at that. <laughs> Is Meg number? Because if I put in Meg and then Lotto follows... Okay, I think Nikki got to stay there. I'm sorry. I, I tried to avoid Nikki, but Nikki has to stay in the top three only because her fans demand crazy shit from her. So, yeah, the fact that she still has an audience pool and they can still go to her and tap into her music and make her music rise like they do, I would put Nikki still there. I would put Sexy Red still there. But does Lotto beat Meg for the top three spot right now? What's good? Somebody said hi, so I'm saying what's good. Uh right now I'm kinda I'm kinda discussing this. Does Meg deserve that top three spot or does Lotto do? I would say lyrically right now. Lyrically right now, okay. I, I I would most likely say I put Lotto there. I'm not gonna lie to you. What's good, Caden? Uh okay, let's finish the tape. What what else? I'm with you. She's number three for me. And just just rapping women. I might have to have a number two. Actually, hold on. I got Nikki and Doja. Nick, Nikki is number one for me. Actually, I might have all over Doja at this moment. Not me. All right, Joe's capping. Joe's capping. If Nikki's number one, like, he got to give it up. Like, we get it. You got the interview already. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Come on, bro. Nikki. Okay, we already said we're going to put her in the top three, so let's leave her there. Okay. All right, Nikki's, Nikki's number one, sure. A lot of Doja, Doja number alone. two. Yeah. Y'all got Doja. Hey, Doja can rap, but no, Doja can rap. I wouldn't put Doja there. She's not relevant at the moment. But when she raps, she does rap her ass off. Not gonna lie. I not, might have Nicki, like Lotto, and Doja. She can't rap like That's that. That's a three, though. That is a three for she me. She can't rap like that. May, she may be a bigger artist not, and a I'm more well-rounded artist. Yes. About rapping. But if I'm just talking about rapping, yeah, I Doja could pack it up if Lotto walk in the studio. I, with I, I agree. I would. I would choose Lotto. Over Doja, but I think Doja get more play than Lotto does, especially right now. 
So I'm not mad at the viewpoint, honestly. It is not that bad. It is what it is. Uh, we're going to keep it going. Uh, let me see. We got somebody random take. It 